back at the Ashida residence. And it's that attitude right there, Miss Sumi. Mm. What does he even mean by fickle? Sumi, you still up? Yeah, so Richard, are you going to bed? Yeah, I had a hard day today. I think I'm just going to knock out. Well, do you want a massage? Like, I, I could massage your shoulders. Uh huh. A massage? Nah, don't worry about it. I'm going to just go to sleep. Good night. Sumi's having all these flashbacks of those times that Nozomu just really just took it too fucking far. Caused his wife to go on a berserk tantrum. Okay, her, her life has been in danger since the beginning. And then Komai had the nerve to say this is all her fault. It ain't 100% her fault. You definitely set this shit up. <laughs> Look, Sumi can't even sleep. Boy, she got a cold sweat and everything. So Ichiro just passed the fuck out. Maybe I should try a different approach. <laughs> Sumi, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, did I wake you? Well, of course you woke me. Don't you see I'm awake? Sumi? Sumi said, I want you to make me yours, Sarichiro. Oh, girl, stop! Sumi, are you for real? Well, that's all you had to say. You should have said that shit. Get over here, girl. Baby, I can pay it to a kiss from wrong. Sumi said, make me yours, Sarichiro. We gonna love each other one way or another. Chapter 39. Sumi and Sarichiro about to get busy. But something seems a bit off. What's going on, Sumi? Huh? What you mean, what's going on? Hmm? What? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on? This isn't like you at all. What, what, what made you flip the switch? Oh, no, nothing in particular. <laughs> no, really, it's nothing. Just focus on me, Sarichiro. Nah, this don't, this don't sit right. My, my spotty senses is tingling. But, Sarichiro? Nah, see, you acting out of pocket. Something ain't right here. Oh, I don't like this version of Sumi. You must be tired of something. You must have had a long day yourself. Just go to sleep. Get some rest. Uh, just go to sleep. Good night. Damn, he still won't eat my bento box. I guess we're going to pop in on Cujo the snake. Oh, Keiko. What you doing out so late? Didn't I tell you not to come here no more? Is there something you don't want your fiancé to know, Mr. Cujo? Uh, let's talk in the back. Listen, my parents arranged the match, okay? It wasn't me. I didn't want her. Look, you know I don't love her. Girl, I only love you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. 